Hello, house guests. You are the jury members. We are missing one. She may or may not be coming, but I want to thank you all for being here for the discussion of who you think should win season one of um, Big Brother. Actually, we don't need you to start the conversation because we already know. I think Andrew should win. Next topic. Wow. The D. You no, know, it's what you say. It's what you say. It's, I think Andrew's gonna win. I think Andrew should win. <laughs> Andrew's gonna take it all. Andrew's gonna win. I, I want Andrew, Andrew to win. win. Shut up. The question number one. What would you say each of the guys in the final three has done to get themselves where they are now? We'll start with C. Andrew's been a lying, backstabbing, whatever he wants to call himself. Um, Joe has been loyal, very strategic, and very much so playing the game by talking to everybody, trying to make the right decision for the house, whether it hurts somebody or not, whenever is the best decision in the end. Tucker, Tucker just kind of got lucky, I think. Ow, I just hit my hand. Oh, is it my well, turn? Yes. Danny, how, where, how, what do you think each of the guys have done to get... Okay, let's just start with Andrew. Um, I don't know how he got here. <laughs> or who he thinks he is, but he's been very mean to me since day one, so I don't know how he got there. Uh, Joe, he won a lot of challenges. That probably explains his position in the top three. Um, and Tucker, I think he was just nice to everyone, and that's why he was never really evicted. My personal opinion. Though he was put on the block several times. Several Anyways. times, but he was never evicted. Obviously. That is also true. Sarah, what do you think the guys have done to get where they are now? Well, for Tucker, I think that, like like Danny said, he was very nice to everybody, and he didn't really seem to, like, stab anybody in the back. Well, not that I know of, anyways. But also, I feel like that he was sort of like a filler to get somebody else out on the block. So, like, people maybe sort of kept him. I don't 100% know, so don't quote me on that. Joe, he played a fair game. He won a lot of challenges. But also, like Z said, he talked to a lot of people, trying to do, like, the right thing, even though, like, he may have lied. But, like, that doesn't matter. And Andrew... Well, Andrew was definitely aligned with a lot of people. Uh, um, I don't want to know from him that he backstabbed a lot of people, but from you guys, I'm pretty sure he did. I personally don't know myself, but I think he was aligned with a lot of people because he hasn't really run, uh, won any challenges until, uh, I believe, when Z left. I mean, when Z, before Z left. Next, Polska. Now, we all know you root for Andrew, which I am on the neutral side. But what do you think got him where he is now? Um, I think I kind of took him to the end. Kind of made him go there. Um, You're taking credit for it. I think I took Andrew closer to the end. Um, well, literally what uh, me and Andrew did, we formed other alliances to stay longer in the game. That's what we also did. We also wanted to win the competition and think of big moves. But um, also, uh, for the top three people, I don't think, like Tucker, I don't think he deserves to win this game because due to that, he did like nothing. He didn't win no competition. Didn't even like barely talk at all. And really, he was um, played a really low profile game, but I don't think someone like that should win. Joe, okay. Joe is really good at competition. He did great. Um, I think he could, he should win. Also, I'm saying that too. But um, like literally, he won too many competitions. Uh, this is why he made it this far. Um, Andrew was aligned with me and other people. I liked Andrew. Um, I took him uh, really far in the game. And then also, like literally, I think he should win. Because he's the best. Tom. I don't know much for Tucker. He hasn't been. I don't think he and I ever really talked. 
it's even pretty much leading up to like when I got evicted. So I can't really say much for that from what I've heard from other people though. I'd say he probably was good staying in the background. He seemed to get close to winning a few comps. Whether he'll actually make it through or not, or whether he deserves to make it or not, nothing against him, but I don't really feel that he's that strong of a, strong of a player to really deserve winning at this point. Okay. Joe, he seems to have planned well, seemed to have formed several alliances with other people. Some of whom I'm aware of, some of whom I may not be aware of. But he seemed to play a, a good game, seemed to take it well from a neutral standpoint. Seems to deserve being there. Andrew. He also has been playing a good game on like planning and whatnot. What do you guys think? is the most important factor in choosing a winner. I think the winning one of the winning factors should be how kind they were to other people. Um, I don't particularly think Andrew was the nicest person throughout the entire season, from my viewpoint, and Tucker was. That seems like a valid answer, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, um, I think, I agree with Danny, definitely respect for other players plays a good role in a winning factor. But I also feel like, actually, that's, honestly, I think that might be the best thing. Like, who was really respectful throughout the entire game? Who really stepped it up, um, showed the determination for winning, and really tried not to cause drama, but still be strategic enough to win? And Andrew definitely has shown to be very disrespectful, has obviously done a really bad job at being secretive with things, and Tucker was really nice, but did he win anything? I don't know all his determination behind the scenes, because I was gone for like the first four weeks, but his determination behind the scenes, I don't know that well. And I mean, we all wanted to win, you know? So I mean, like, everybody wants to win. But I think Joe has really shown all of those things put together in one. Okay. All Anyone right. Anyone else? Um, what the hell? All right. Um, <laughs> Danny, I completely disagree with you. Mm, See, I partially nice. agree with you. Now, what? Literally, to me, I don't know what the hell are you guys thinking. You guys are thinking about respect, but to me, it's all about the gameplay. Now, who played the best gameplay? I don't really know better game. But to me, respect, I don't really know. Literally, everybody in the house would lie. Uh, they wouldn't care about anything. They would just have to lie and do all those things just to get to the end. And that's why so I do you think it's alright to lie and manipulate people in the name of the game? Obviously, that's what the whole game is usually about. Lying, trying to get to the end. Once you figure out that they're lying, though, that also means that you lose, lose their respect, which also means you could turn against them. But the question is, is, do you think... Addition for several people. Excuse me. Here. Danny! You've been aligning with everybody in the house, but you're gonna backstab them. That's what I meant. Was that true, Danny? Did you plan on backstabbing people? I did not make um, any alliances with people I was not going to friend or associate with. I made alliances with Z and you because I thought you were my friend. Mm. Danny, what happened was that when we were aligned, you and me, people were telling me that you wanted me and Andrew out once, uh, I, think, I believe it was Joe H.O.H.? No, not Joe. Uh, someone else in the church. But when he was, when Joe was about to win the veto, no, when he won the veto, and about to use it either on me or I think Briani. I don't know. Um, 
you kept telling him to use the veto on Briani and then put up uh, Mr. Andrew. And you wanted to get one of us out. Yeah, that was true at the time. There you go. How at the that? time, not after that week. It seems there have been some rivalries here at the Big Brother house. After that week, that my target was Andrew because he had been a hoe bag. You were playing a game that was really bad, trying to align with everybody. It was really bad, I do admit that. But it you, was really but I see when Danny, I look back on it. Literally, Danny, I, I know it's a bad game, but you were trying to do everything you got to get to the end, get, uh, end of the game. That's what I mean. I don't care about like, really that much of respect, I only care about the gameplay. At that point in time, when I had left the season, I had won the second most challenges. I had three wins. So why are you saying I played a bad game? If you think that performance-wise, well, I, mean, I wasn't the worst. All right, social game, yes. Competitive, like, games. I guess you were better at that, but mostly your social game really screwed your ass up. I guess this, is, this question is open to everyone. If there was something you could have gone back and done instead of something else, what would that have been? Oh, definitely not make that as many alliances. <laughs> oh. uh, you know, um, everybody here except for Danny already knows this because literally <laughs> I joked with Tucker the Tuesday before evictions and um, right before even anybody was put on the block, um, I literally was like, it was nice knowing you, Tucker. <laughs> if I wouldn't have said that, I, I would have changed that. Like, I was straight joking, because I already knew I was going home anyways. Mm -hmm. But, like... You wanted to when, leave on a higher note? Yeah, I could have left on a higher note. And I honestly also think that it might have been a difference, because Joe almost threw it for me. He literally was telling Tucker to take me instead of him. And... If it literally, I don't know if this is true or not, because I only know what Tucker said at, in that moment. He literally said, on Tuesday, you threatened me. In which it was a joke, but how can you joke in this competition, you know? But, like, mm -hmm. he was like, you threatened me on Tuesday, so I have to take Joe over you. And so, I mean, that's fair, but, like, Joe was straight trying to throw the competition from me. Like, excuse? <laughs> excuse you? Excuse me, why? <laughs> so that's what that's. I just wish I would have not joked with Tucker. <laughs> kind of like a karma sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Anybody else? Sarah, you've yeah. been awfully quiet. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, what's. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think what I wish I would have done is actually when I got evicted. <laughs> this may sound really weird, but I wish I said my quote before I left, which is, I hope you guys better know this. It's don't die, it's bad for your health. I wish I would have said that and would have like probably not thrown some shade, but like just, you know, put it out there of like, <laughs> of like, you got me out. You're prob. I mean, you're not gonna have my vote. Like more of that. Mm. But like, I mean, it's fine. Okay. All right, we're on to our very last question. Oh no, that's sad. That means we don't have much time. It's all right. Now, since the finale is coming up, and you will be the ones to vote on our winner, are you basing your votes off of past pettiness, or how the players played the game? Both. Both. Okay. Both. <laughs> Would you explain, Sarah? Oh. That's well, just like one so I get the chance. <laughs> well, I mean, I would like to pick uh, people who have done, like, tried their hardest in the game, which is, I'm pretty sure, obviously, like, Joe with his game strategy. Yeah. But also, I want to just, like, because, like, he got me out. I mean, like, I'm fine with that. It's, like, sort of his choice. I can sort of see where he's coming from. But, like, I'm just sort of 
it's like I just want to make like not a threatening thing since like the game's over. Well, for me at least, I'm just like. But I just I just want to put that out there that I'm not a hundred percent happy that he did that. But also Andrew and Tucker haven't done really anything to me, so it's like. Mm, so I just like would more go off of like strategy and like Tucker I had really not that much knowledge of and Andrew he was my ally so I had like more of it more knowledge and so I'm also basing it off of who I allied with so e. yes very good Tom you got something to say throughout the game I've been trying to go like who has been actually honest up front with me on the plans. So far, only Andrew was not really up front throughout, and that lost his vote for me. Frankly, none of them had really been talking to me of the three. Andrew was actually the most talkative, but he wasn't always saying plans and whatnot with me. Even though we had a secret alliance. Mm. Which... Quote, quote on did, secret, please. <laughs> yes, considering many people were aware that he and I were working together. Oh, I can do everything. <laughs> I was up front with you. You're up front with me, as far as I know. Oh, yeah. 100%. Wow. The last question... Um... I wouldn't say as much as p- pettiness, as much as they, Andrew, personally, held it up with, personally, up with me until the last second before I left. So, that lost me a, a lot of, a whole bunch of respect for him. I had a lot of respect for him for, before that week okay. of turmoil. So, it great for me. As well. Um, for question four, I have to say that, um, gameplay is way better. I would say gameplay would be the better thing because um, literally, like that's what mostly is the main thing in Big Brother. Um, you have to play this game with a good gameplay. Uh, literally, Tom, what he said. Um, like I want to go back to what he said. He said that he, uh, nobody knew that he aligned with Andrew. Andrew told me uh, what well, was Tom that. He didn't talk to Andrew at all. Secret alliance. But anyways, to me, I have gameplay. Proof is saying that I messaged him every day. He did not respond. He kept on all. You message everybody comments. every day. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But then, if Andrew's gameplay if really that good, though. Up. I mean, literally, the only good gameplay in this house has to be either Andrew or Joe. But is Andrew's gameplay really that good, though? Because Andrew had been trying to get me out since the week that I came back, and Joe and I foiled his plans every single week up into the last one. Like, I mean, no shit, you're a good competitor. That's a swear word. <laughs> but but we, didn't, we didn't foil his plans just on pure luck. We foiled his plans because we figured out his plans because some people don't like to keep secrets because I'm a loyal person, so Tom told me everything, every single chance oh, that he no, got. No, no, no. And Tucker told me every single thing, every single chance that he got. Joe told me every little thing, every chance that he got. And vice versa. Like so we knew how to plan sure, around everything. So I'm pretty sure Andrew did not find that out like he told me that wow. he'll find everything out. So Z, That's something knew, he said. Sorry. Z, if you knew Andrew's plan, what was his plan? Please don't. Literally, okay, so. At first, it was the week that I came back. It was the week that I joined you guys. And the plan was to get Marissa out. And everybody knew that you couldn't be put on the block because you're a boat buddies thing. Or something, or whatever, yeah. or it was your. It was the week that you were there. Actually, you were H O H. So Andrew yeah. couldn't be put on the block because of boat buddies. Um, Joe wouldn't willingly go on the block, and you guys knew that. But you knew it had to be one of us to go on the block. You wouldn't pick anybody else because you were allied with Sarah, and I don't know why you wouldn't pick Tom. I don't. Know I mean, why. like nobody really knew I was aligned with Sarah. Oh, I knew. 
I knew. Oh, well, now you know. I knew that too. Well, I knew. You're not part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I was like, you know what? I'll just do it. So I went, I, I took one for the team. I took one for the team. I was like, you know what? Go ahead and put me on the block. Whatever. I know. I'll win. I'll win veto. Whatever. And literally, Tom comes to me later that day talking about how, you know how, you know, like, it's Andrew's plan to get you out this week, you know? I was like, really? Wouldn't have guessed that. Wow. I already had that in the back of my mind. <laughs> and that's, what? that's when I went to Joe. And Joe was, like, talking to um, Andrew, and I guess it was true that Andrew was trying to get me out that week. So I won veto, got myself up off the block, and oh, then... I'm just going with what everything that we talked about. You asked oh. me what I went through our heads. We tried oh, yeah. to we tried to not get Marissa out to fuck with y'all's plan. Pardon my French. Um then that didn't work, so we were kind of flustered. We found out that I was going to be on the block again because who who won that week? I don't remember. Somebody won that week. Sarah won that week, didn't she? I did? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> Whatever happened, I got back on the block. But I got myself back off the block, or Joe got me off, or somebody got me off. Something happened, or I won the vote. I don't remember. But, um... I was replaced. I, I replaced her, I think. I kept Where's having that? this... I kept having to save myself, because everybody just keep com came to me. It was Tom was coming to me, Joe was coming to me. It was like... I heard this from so-and-so, I heard from that from so-and-so, Andrew's planning to get you out this week, Andrew's planning to get you out that week, he's gonna do this, 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 that, oh. that, that, I'm like, you can't even win, so. I'll tell you what happened. Wait, wait, Paul's still? It was, okay, Sarah, you go. Um, see, I just want to make a little correction, I'm pretty sure after Paul's got that HOH, it was me, and you just weren't on the walk that week. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what she was going with that, I'm sorry. But anyways, I'll be honest with you. Andrew did not want you out. Literally, so I want to Why did he tell me that? See, I was thinking, I was like, mm, should we take out Z? And he's like, no. We should get out a bigger threat that would obviously win this game. That's why he came up with a huge idea to take out Marissa. We all know that everybody loves her. She played a good game, and we would all vote for her. So, literally, I went with that idea. I was thinking of getting you out, Z, because I thought you wanted me out because we all took out Danny, but no. You, you were actually pretty loyal, I have to say that. But we we decided to take out Marissa, and yeah, we, we could have had the option to take you out. But you're saying that Andrew, it was all Andrew's idea to take you out, but it was actually literally his, his idea to take out Marissa, not you. No, because literally, before I had left... Andrew had told me and Joe, I'm pretty sure, that he wanted either me or Z out. Yeah, literally, he, literally, they came to me, like, as soon as after Danny was evicted, or not, or right before Danny was evicted, everybody was, kept coming to me. It was Andrew and Joe and Tom kept coming to me saying that I need to watch my back because everybody thinks that I'm going to try and keep Danny safe and blah, 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 blah. And I was like... Yeah, I would like it if Danny was safe, but because everybody else wants Danny so out so bad, why would I why would I like just jump at that opportunity to put a target on my back? Oh, and can I can I say one more thing? Um the week when I left, I will also say this, Andrew um did not actually plan on getting me out. He said, "I will save you if Tom gets put up." You vote for Danny tonight to get her out, and you can ally with us, and I'll take you all the way. So he told Danny that she was safe, but he told me that everybody was voting her out. Yeah. I mean, that's the game. Literally, he had to take you out. Yeah, I I understand. That's a I agree with the decisions. Like, I was playing a horrible game, but he didn't need to lie to me. He could have just told me, you're going. Right, that's what I told Tom. The, the week that Tom got out, I was like, literally, there's nothing I can do to save you. You're leaving. Like what I said before, you need to lie in this game. And that's what you did right there. You're not going to lie to someone who isn't going to be there next week. <laughs> Jesus. 
Well, I mean, da nobody really likes Danny. Wasn't... Wow! <laughs> I, I have to be honest, Joe, Joe went on with me. He hated you when you guys were in Alliance. And then you he said... Did, um, he did hate me, but we haven't made up since then. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was, in the game, you, you guys hated each other. But outside of the game, you, just got, you guys just like each other. But in the game, yeah. This jury house is filled with more entertainment than anyone in the real house. Why didn't we spill more tea while we were in the house? Because we were waiting for this moment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, should have picked more better people. I tried so hard. Oh. It's like that when shade? I when I got H O H, I tried so hard to like stir some tea up in this shit. I really did. I tried so hard. Ugh. And nobody came back at me with tea. Drag me, please. <laughs> Drag me so I can get you out, please. I mean, Z, when you were HOH, you did want to steer the, uh, like, move the tea or whatever you said right there. Stir the pot. <laughs> Stir the pot, whatever. Go back where you said you were loyal. Now, on the day when you were going, uh, when I was on the block and, uh, Sarah was on the block, he, um, me and Andrew were worried because Joe told us that for sure you're going to put Andrew up and take one of us out, which mainly Andrew... You guys, uh, you wanted Andrew out, and I kept asking you questions like, "Are you sure you're gonna put up Andrew?" He's like, "Why would I do that? We're in the lines and all that." And you're saying that you're loyal. Even Weren't you, you the one who were just saying it's okay to lie? I mean, now you're getting yeah, for lying. But you said you're loyal. <clears throat> you said you were saying that you're loyal. I said I can be loyal. I was loyal to Tom. Mm -hmm. I was loyal to Joe. Did I say that I was loyal to you? Just because you're loyal doesn't mean you have to be loyal to everybody. Oh, well, literally, you just said it right now. You want to be loyal? Literally, to us, you would be loyal to everybody. See, you played a good game. I mean, literally, what you're telling me right now is confusing. I think wow, we have that was like an extra ten team. minutes that we didn't need. <laughs> so... Very last question, and we're gonna go around in a circle. Who do you think, not who you think deserves to win, who do you think is going to win? Um, I personally think Joe's gonna win because he's been really strategic. I wanna say, I would also, I would say Tucker, cause like he's he's like you know nice. He didn't really cause too much drama that not that I know of. Uh, but, yeah, he just seemed really nice, and, yeah. Alright. Polska? Alright. Um, well, to be honest, from all of you guys are saying, uh, in conclusion, what I think is, I think Joe's gonna win, because all of you won't go for Andrew, you guys are saying he's, he played a, like, uh, a really, uh, untruthful game. So, therefore, I think Joe's going to win, even though I really want Andrew to win. I don't see Tucker will, like, hell no, no chance of winning. It's terrible game. I'd say probably Joe will make it. I honestly think Joe has it in the bag. I haven't heard a meaningful, dis disrespectful statement come out of his mouth. I he, He's played a tough game. He knows how to set his mind to something, he's full of determination, he just, he just has what it takes. Yes! Z, wait, what? Hi. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me know if you guys can hear me. I thought you were gonna win, for me. I tried. So Marissa. You're harder than me, so. Yeah. Who do you think deserves to win Big Brother? Um, I mean, it looks like Joe was laying it down. <laughs> <laughs> He's been going to town since it started. Not who you think will win, who do you think deserves to win, based on the game that um, they played? Um, probably Andrew, maybe. Just based on him still being in there. Finally! Working <laughs> until the end, because, I mean, he was like a, not a scapegoat, but he was kind of like a floater until around... What, week six, seven, I mean five, so mm -hmm. he did pretty well. I mean, Joe's Slow just been like a powerhouse, so he's been real quiet, so I think probably Andrew. 
All right. The number of alliances I had since first week. Can we so not get into this up. drama again? I mean, the amount of the amount of secrecy that he was able to keep and like to pass on to each alliance is very, very good. Another question we had was, do you think it's okay to lie and manipulate people in order to win the game? It's Big Brother. Literally, it's Big Brother. <laughs> so yeah. So yes. That means yes. that like. I mean, when you want something, anything kind of goes in this. I mean, I guess there is ways to not do that, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to the end when you're playing the nice person, honestly. And the only way to get to the end is basically backstabbing and telling people what they want to hear. How else are they going to semi-trust you? May I just say, I have been trying to stay truthful throughout the entire series, and I ended up where I got I, just I mean, that was, that was me as well. I tried playing the nice card the nice You are very nice person, though. and I'm out. So if I maybe stabbed a little bit more back, who knows? I was truthful hey. until I felt threatened, so... Yeah. You were truthful until me... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a whole game. Yes, it's a game. We're not even winning anything. It's a game. <laughs> we're playing for the sake of torturing ourselves. All I gotta say is that oh if we win anything, a game within a game. Oh my god. If we win anything, I mean, we're not getting five hundred thousand dollars at the end, but we did make friends, and I think that's better than five hundred thousand dollars, in my opinion. Yeah.